So uh, let's move on to our next topic. And Ian, I think yep. this is your topic. Okay, cool. So um, I want to know here some little stories about all of us here. Um, basically, what is the most epic time you lost your tip temper? It could be for yeah. a good thing, a bad thing. Um, what is like one of your most memorable times? Um, I guess I could go first here so you guys can kind of think. Yeah. Um, I had... I, I worked at the beach. I know I've told a few stories about working at the beach, but this is probably one of my most epic times. And uh, I worked at a resort that I actually worked for a guy that rented out the land. So technically, our jet ski company was its own entity. It wasn't, you know, part of the resort or anything. So this guy, I don't want to sit there and say names because it's a very big place and kind of well respected and whatnot but um the name of the hotel was actually this guy's last name so my job was to rent out jet skis that was our company but since we rented out the land we took care of the beach so i would rake the beach every day on a four-wheeler you know and it had a huge like 70 pound rake off the back and i'd drive around and rake the whole beach make it look nice i put up chairs for people to rent and stuff and it was like this nice little um tiny beach so one day, nature happens sometimes, and uh, seaweed, um, what we call sea scum, comes in. Mm. And I, I believe it was like a red tide kind of thing that happened. Something happened in the water, and literally the beach was full of just seaweed. And blood. And lo- Actually, there was some blood, but it was Ugh. dead fish. Oh yeah, it was dead. God. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, this sucks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm out there, literally, I, I would get there because w- we work sun up to sun down, technically. So I'd get there at the time, I think it was like seven something in the morning. So from seven to like 11 in the morning, I'm out there covered in this shit, trying to rake it all up, make the beach look nice. But you think about it, it's all in the water. So every time the wave comes in, more shit comes in. So I'm literally shuffling it underneath. Battle. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. And it was a huge deck where, like, bands would play. And, like, this place was, like, a big party place on in Clearwater Beach. So I would sit, I was sitting out there for hours working on this. And he comes down with his son and daughter who were managers at the resort. And he was known for screaming and yelling at people and making them feel like this. Yeah. And he would make servers. I mean, these are, like, good-looking women that are, like, year, you know, in sure. Yeah. He, they're in bikinis sitting there. I mean, you made a lot of money at the place, but he would sit there like in the middle of the rush at a restaurant, screaming and yelling at him, making him cry. Like he was yeah, just a dick and people. he was an older guy. Yeah. So I'm sitting there doing this. He comes down. He is berating me and screaming at me like a foot away from me. Like I'm his employee. So I ended up actually blowing up. I just had enough because I was doing this all morning. <laughs> I'm covered in disgusting. And, and I, took the keys to the ATV and I threw it at his chest. I said, if you can do a fucking better job, get on the fucking ATV yourself and do it. I ain't fucking doing it anymore. So I went down, <laughs> I sat there and I stared at him and I'm like, so just livid. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going to do there. So fuming. And it, it's so funny. Cause like the, the look on his face, like what did he just do? And yeah. so I sat there and I like did damage control in my head. I'm like, okay, I literally just told this guy to go fuck himself and to do my work. What do I do? So I called up my boss instantly. I said, hey, I said, this is just what happened. I said, I'm sorry. I said, but I have been working out here. And I said, you can look at the cameras for hours trying to take care of this. And I said, and you know his typical style. He came down berating me. I said, I am not his employee. I'm your employee. And so the craziest thing, and his name is Gavin, my old boss, really cool guy. He went, he came down, went up into that guy's office and stood up for me. And he's just like, look, you have a problem with my employee. You come to me. Don't go out there and do this stuff. We're not a part of your resort. You know, we pay for this land for yeah. you. We rent this. And like, I was like, I thought I was going to be losing my job, honestly. So that was kind of yeah. like one of my epic times. And I'm there telling you, you, throughout the whole week, I had servers, people that worked at the resort come up to me like, did you really do that? I was like, yeah, I did. They're like, that is so awesome. Like, they were like. I felt like a little hero of the place, you know? It was kind of cool. But, yeah, yeah, that was a time I was like, oh, my God, what did I just do kind of thing. You get that fight or flight. Hey, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do mine real quick because I'm gonna probably go uh, head out to the okay, uh, okay. game. But so mine was when I was 17 years old. I was in an ex relationship, and uh, I was immature. We were both very immature. It was an immature relationship overall. 
huge argument, a huge argument. And she stormed out saying she was going to leave. So she was getting ready to get into her car. And I was still going off on her. I was, we were yelling at each other, but she was yelling and like just going crazy. Nice drop, right? Like she picked a drop that you, you wanted the <laughs> ring or something. And she picked it up I, and you were paying. I, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe it could have been. There's a new drop item and you, she couldn't give who it knows? to you. <laughs> who knows? It could have been. <laughs> but we were going off, right? And she decides she's going to pull away and she's going to drive off. And I run out. This and I run out in front of the in front of her car in the road, and I kick her front car as she's driving by. Front car. <laughs> I get the front, the, the front of her car. I kick it, and I get thrown. I get thrown back, and uh, she stops the car. She gets out. She's like, "What are you doing? You're crazy!" And I'm all like hyped up and on adrenaline. I just kicked the car. I got thrown back. I'm still okay. I grab her keys and I chuck them under the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're not going anywhere. Fuck you. <laughs> but I was crazy. That was one of the times I lost my temper. In a, but I was 16 years old. So well, actually 17 years old. Now, so was I was this still a little bit. I, I was still, it was at my house. Okay, good. My I, house. Yeah. My daughter was outside and her boyfriend did that. I'd be beating the shit out of that kid. <laughs> no, it was definitely my house. And we were, it was immature and I was immature at the time. Oh, it, but oh, crazy man. situation. I was surprised I didn't die. Well, I was actually like to the side of the pit, so I wasn't like standing directly in front of it. So that's why I got thrown back. Yeah. But I hit it hard enough to uh to Oh the best which was the crazy. Story. Wait, you were <laughs> you hit it hard enough to what? To make a big dent in her bumper. Oh uh, my god. What'd you oh I thought rubber baby bumper bunkers. <laughs> <laughs> it, right when you no, were saying but, I mean, that, part, that was out. yeah and now he's paused <laughs> it was a time in my life where like I could have flipped my shit on anything like could have just not got the last, gla gla last glass of milk I would have been like throwing a tantrum <laughs> but uh, that's funny I've had, I've had a, it was actually in college my temper I mean I let's I mean, I'll call a spade a spade. Uh, I have a terrible temper, and it's gotten better over the years, and that's relatively speaking, uh, because it, it, was, it was bad for a while. It, Xander knows. Uh, and, so, uh, and so when I was, uh, let's see, when I was in college, this is actually something I did in freshman year. We are all hanging out on the quad. Hold on. You want to join in? <laughs> he, he wants to tell his story about when he lost his temper. But I was like, well, I, okay, dad's telling his story. So anyway, um, I was, we, I'm about to lose my temper right now. I'm just kidding. He's mocking He's mocking um, He's like, la, la, la. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was, uh, we were in the quad and it was like Alan, me, uh, Rob was there, I'm pretty sure. And our friend Jay. And like, I think Matt's been on here for people who know him. And we're all chilling out. And I think Jay, Jay wanted me to do something. He kept poking me and poking me and poking me. I was like, dude, no, no. And I was like, I was in a bad mood anyway. And I kept telling him, I was like, leave me alone. I'm like, I'm serious. If you don't leave me, like, you get three chances. After the third chance, like, after the third morning, I'm, I'm going to pop off. And he I'm, kept doing I'm it and kept doing it. I was like, you got one more chance, man. I swear to God. And he popped and he hit me or, like, poked me or something. I just got up and I grabbed him by the ankles. I pulled it up so he fell on the ground and put his legs underneath my armpits. I flipped him over and did a Walls of Jericho so hard. And he was just like, ah, oh, you know, I was like, tap, motherfucker, tap, tap. And he started tapping. I was like, I was like, you will live fucking, you know, I was like, I tell you to leave me alone and you don't leave me alone. That's what you get, motherfucker. And I was pissed. I was so mad. I flipped off the handle. I could have broken his back. <laughs> and, and then I remember a couple, like an hour later, I apologized and, Mm -hmm. I felt bad, but um, yeah, I flipped off the handle. I got really, really pissed off. I mean, there's a time I have stories all over the place of me just getting pissed off at video games and like hitting my TV and throwing my controller and like really just did not know how to handle that kind of uh, level of being upset. It, like I just I didn't know how else to like express that disappointment and anger without like hitting something, or getting that energy out that would just like boil up within me. Like I didn't know how to take a deep breath and just relax. I just want to punch something or hit something, right? And to this day, I definitely have that like mentality. Well, you know, you know, it's funny is I, I had that a little bit when I was, uh, 
I, I actually I had it a lot when I was younger, but um, I eventually started to like, kind of get this mindset of fuck it. It was my motto when I uh, when I was actually yeah. 17, 17 or eighteen, and I, I lost a friend, and I was like, life's too short, is my motto. So, um, but there was times that when I would get really angry. So, like one would be like with siblings. My sister used to really annoy the shit out of me and i love her to death now but back then she would do anything and everything mm. and actually what i ended up doing was instead of like screaming yelling freaking out or anything like that when i got older and a lot bigger than her um i sat there and said you know what fuck it i would give her three warnings like you said mm. i'd give her i'm sorry two warnings the third time it's over that's yeah and same here so i said you need to stop or i'm gonna throw you in the pool yeah. And like my my at the time we were putting chlorine all the time in and she was like really into clothes and stuff. So my house is like my bedroom was the furthest room from the back door in the pool. And she was like sitting there right next to my ear going like this. Right in my ear while I'm playing EverQuest. <laughs> and I'm like. And so she kept doing it. I said, second warning. And so finally she did it again. And it was the third warning. I literally picked her up and she was grabbing onto walls, paintings through the house. And I just barreled her through the whole house. My parents were home and everything. And I just remember going by and my mom's like, <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. And I, I went out, I, I <laughs> threw open the back door and I just threw her right in the pool. And she's screaming because we literally just put chlorine in there and she just bought this outfit. So it literally, it ruined it. Like, and she's freaking out and she goes running inside up to my dad. She's like, Ian just threw me in the pool. Are you not going to do anything? And I was like, dad, I warned her three times. I said the third time I told her I was going to do this. And he goes, next time you'll watch out for the warnings. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. fuck yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's a, it's, it's a lesson. Right? Like, thank you, dad. Yeah. Don't I was like the yes. bear. <laughs> yeah. I was in my own room, fucking doing my own shit. Leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. So. Jeez, it's... Yeah, man. I, I've, I've lost my temper s several times. Like it was a lot when we were young. I think too. Yeah. yeah. You know, like there was a like when I was eighteen, there was a hurricane coming in, and uh, uh, I was arguing with get up, and we were going to go to our to try to avoid. The, we lived in the Tampa Rocker. area. You're, you're, <laughs> okay. you're in the middle of a hurricane. Every with someone. Every main part of that story just got just cut. cut out. Yeah. <laughs> were you cursing or were you, telling, were you just Can, like nope, dipping? Nope. Nope. Can you get, I was cursing at one yeah, point. Right. I was just like, ah, beep, 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 beep. No. So it was, uh, there was a big hurricane that was going to come through to Tampa and my family wanted to go to Orlando and I didn't want to go to Orlando because of this other relationship once again. Mm. But, uh, there, there was a lot of late news that was starting to come saying that it was going to go towards Orlando. And I was trying to tell my parents this. And then one got so angry at me, got right up into my face, and I immediately lost my temper. I couldn't control it at that point. Yeah. So I started going off and saying things I would because I was just so angry. Say, and my yeah. brother wanted to go jump in real quick, and I've just lost my temper where everything was just red at this point. It wasn't like I was even like conscious. It was just anger was all that was there. Yeah, my man. brother wanted to go get in between me and my family member, and as he did... Uh, I remember some where I don't maybe he tackled me or something like that. And I hit him four times in the face, not even recognizing him doing this because I yeah. had lost my temper. Immediately get up and start running out of the house. And uh, my mom comes out, who I don't have any problem with. And she's like, Rocco, where are you going? What are you doing? I'm like, fuck you, everybody. <laughs> You're just mad, man. I have no reason to say this to my mom at all. Yeah, death, and she's it's it's wrong interesting. in that situation, but it's just that anger, you know. Yeah. And then my brother and I start running, and I start running. I'm just like, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna I'm gonna run to this other person's house that I feel like I want to go to. I don't feel like I want to go the the choice my my parents are making, and I'm 18 years old. I feel like I should have the right to make my own decision. Yada yada. And uh, my brother chases me down, and then I stop because I'm like, it's just my bro. Let me just talk with him. He's like, hey, man. He's like, hey. And I see his face, and it's like it's like uh, puffy. And it's got he's bleeding in a little area, too, like right around his lip. I'm like, dude, what happened to you? Did did my did somebody hit you? And he's like, you hit me, you asshole. I was like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> it's like you didn't – I didn't even recognize nor even know that what was going on, not even know that I hit my own brother. 
was just yeah. like that, that rage just filled you. And it was just like somebody or something else just took over and possessed you. And in that moment, you took a back seat. Yeah. You know, and it was it, like. It's interesting as a father, just, you know, how do you, like, as a parent, how do you, like, I've been thinking about that. Like, what happens when my son does something like that or loses, like, oh, yeah. Is so it right now, I'm doing things like. So I'm doing things right now where I see my son, he starts to lose his. Temper. Or emotional. It's just like, not even temper, mm-hmm. okay? It's a, let's just call it. Um, not having emotional control. Yeah. Okay. Emotional intelligence. M- emotional yeah, intelligence. Yeah. So when I notice that he's going to have an outbreak or an upset moment or an angry moment or any of these lack of emotional intelligence moments. It's almost like a demonic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like when. Uh, okay. okay so I was going to yeah. say, if I see him having a lack of an emotional intelligence moment, I tell him, this is, I'm trying to give him a tool now, early in age. Yeah. I say, relax and breathe we're gonna take yeah. a deep breath and i go and i keep ha- having him do that until i can realize you know you can see the body language that the child relaxed you can tell he's like still kind of got that light breath going where he's still yeah. you know not quite there yet get him to the relaxed point Woo-sa. If you teach him that you know what he'll start to yeah that emotional tool that whenever he starts to feel his anger or his emotions start to take off he knows how to take it down so, right. And I, wanna, I think being taught that at a younger age might give you that tool for later. I just, I want to, I'm not on, sure. I want to comment on that really quick and then I think we need to move on if that's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is such a great parenting skill, Rocco, and uh, you should be really proud of it. Like when I grew up, I felt like when I had those reactions, um, I was made to feel guilty. And the tactic was, oh, what are you, baby? Come on, get over it. And and I'm seeing a lot of that now too, where a lot of people are like, just get over it, get over it. Oh, just move on, just go. Just and and invalidate your feelings. Um, it doesn't do anything to help you cope with those feelings. It makes you feel guilty about having those feelings. Um, and I think there's a lot to be said about this example of when when a child is feeling that way and and teaching them how to deal with this and being like, look, just you know, breathe a little bit, like get through it. You can do this. Um, just it's such a different direction. It's such a positive one. That mm-hmm. like, kudos to you, Rocco, for taking that and not being like just, just get just, it. It was nothing. It was nothing. Whatever. Just come on, and because uh, I, I think it really does. It helps. I wish, <laughs> as funny as it may seem, I wish a lot of people would take that approach as adults to adult interaction, because it goes Definitely. a long way. It, I hear you on that, and I, and that was part of the the whole thing. Is like when you lose your temper, it happens. It's gonna happen, no matter what who you are, what you are. Yeah. You're gonna lose it at some point, and learning and growing from it be it like i said kind of a in my mind a good time i flew off the handle granted there's times that i flew off the handle that were not good times like screaming and yelling at my brother yeah. because my biggest pet peeve is being interrupted uh you know and he did it to me constantly one night and i just flew off the handle where my friend thought my brother and i were about to get into a fist fight <laughs> and i was honestly that close and later on, I like stormed out, left, and it was bad. And my brother, you know, he's my older brother, and he had to call me up. He's like, "Dude, what is your deal?" Thank you. And I was like, "Look," and I explained <laughs> it to him. I said, "I fucked up. I'm sorry." I said, "But you've been doing this to me all night, and I was getting ex- getting excited, and I hated it." So, yeah. but yeah, as long as you can cope with it and learn from it, it gets better, and you'll be good. To go. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. So, wh- who's our next topic? <laughs>